Good afternoon and welcome to our weekly praying together, where we pray with and for you, our community. If you have a prayer request that you'd like to have lifted up, just leave a comment or send me a message. I'd be happy to add you to our list. This week, our praying together is on the theme of the prayers for sustenance. This Sunday, we're talking about the widow who gave all she had to the temple treasury and how her generosity sparks others' generosity. So, let us pray. Gracious God, so often we look at ourselves, our gifts, and our talents, and we wonder what you would do with these offerings. We don't think that we have much to give. So, far too many times we belittle the gifts and turn our backs on the needs and opportunities present to serve, believing that our gifts cannot possibly make a difference. We think that we must possess the greatest of talents and wealth in order to truly please and serve you. How foolish we are. Forgive us when we stop listening to your healing and comforting words and focus on our anxieties. Heal us, Lord. Help us know that you have given to us such blessings and that these blessings are truly wonderful and meant to be used to joy and service of others. Help us to bring our lives, just as they are, to you and to receive your gentle touch and healing grace. Lord, we also lift up our weekly prayer requests, both spoken and unspoken. Please, please be with those who weigh on our hearts. Lord, we continue to pray for students and staff who are suffering from the current wave of the pandemic. Give them strength, safety, and resilience. And once again, we pray for hospital and long-term care facility workers. Give them the resilience and patience as the burden of the pandemic falls upon them. Lord, we pray for Karina, Beetle, Alan, Amanda, Carrie, Nate, Maisel, Janet, and Gertrude, Lisa, Paula, Jeff, Stephen, and Ray. Gracious God, we lift these prayers to you. 